This is Master Kambai. Welcome to this new replay commentary. Today we are doing Andy vs. Drake. I am Andy. My opponent will be Drake. We are on a light based map I don't like, but hey, things happen. This is Global League after all. So, Andy, no day to day abilities. Hyper Repair, 3 stars. All unit gain 2 HP. Hyper Upgrade, 6 stars. All unit gain 5 HP plus 10 attack and plus 1 movement. This is really good and juicy. Drake, Drake, Drake. Naval unit gains plus 1 movement and 25 defense. Air unit lose 20% attack. Unaffected by rain except vision. And has the higher chance of rain in random weather. Power for 4 stars, Tsunami, remove 1 HP from all enemies, and cut their flow by half. This is good. This forced your enemy into making some APC. Now, Typhoon, 7 stars. Deals 2 damage to all enemy units. Drain the fool by half again. And we will have rain for an entire day. So this is really good against some steals like Olaf. Or this can also cut vision. Hell yeah. Now let's go over to both profile. Uh, because it's globally after all. The Red Eye Jedi, offline, official rating 764.73, win 175, a lost one, uh, 290, draw 3. Now, his most used steal is Jake, which is very interesting. It's probably the only seal he used in tier 4. With Jess as well, but Jake much more. And he doesn't use Rachel often. Interesting. Now let's go over to my profile. Combine the bases. Official rating 895.57. Win 159, 170 defeats, 25 drop. Most likely my uh, alternate account. I'll ask for draw when they bump into each other. Olaf, my most used character, and Max is pretty low in my list because I hate Max. It's not a good seal. It's not a fun seal. Let's go over to the replay command there. Here we are. This map was really popular back in January when this game was played. So, uh, looks like we play it. Let's see how it goes. Let's be very fast on the first few turns. Boom, 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 boom. Raycon, Raycon. Very interesting. I open up with a tank. Now, this is Drake. I don't agree with opening uh, to Raycon. It's not a really good opening, in my own opinion. Uh, base skip already. Oh my. Strap in for a very long game, guys. This guy will base skip a lot. Drop. Tank infantry, anti-air infantry, very important. <sighs> I roll my eyes. Why do I see two base skip to war crime in a row? I thought Drake was a good guy, but he collects the war crime here.
Look, if you want to increase your uh, points, if you want to increase your ranking, STOP DOING THIS! That will drive me nuts. These people that base skip like that, that will drive me nuts. For real. That will drive me nuts. Don't do that! Let's keep going. I got an anti-air ready because I don't like Battle Cops or Surprise. And now, I roll my eye again. Why? Why? Now I roll my eye on my own move. To anti-air. What's going on? Oh my. I am trash at this game. At least I don't base skip, but I'm still trash. Well, he kills my infantry, which is fine. You will lose a tank, brah. So, is it worth it? Not really, because you lost a tank. You see, if I followed up with a tank, I would have gotten two tanks overlapping each other instead of that. Stupid anti-air build. Oh, he used both of his bases. I hope I win this game. I really hope. Because if I lose against that guy, I think I stop doing replaymentary. He's playing safe, which is good. Anti-air are not used to kill infantry. What do I do? What's going on? Why am I so bad? Oh my. At least I don't base skip. Trap. First strike. Now, in my defense, I thought I could kill this thing. When I look back, I think it's a very bad move, it's terrible, but at least the thing is about to die, so... Haha, <laughs> I'm retard. Oh. That guy knows, he has a Freak on there, he sees that, he's like, yo, bruh, bruh, I, this game is, <laughs> this game, this game, I'm trying my life now, looks like I got a rugged ally and a medium tank, kills my anti-air because I'm not cautious, well, I killed the anti-air. I'm red. What am I speaking about? Anti-air battlecopter. I have too many anti-air. Now. Okay. I will speak about the elephant in the room. Andy does counter Drake. Okay, but the elephant in the room is... You can still win with Drake against Andy. You just need to be smart on when you use your Typhoon. Now, is it smart right now? I'm not quite sure. We will evaluate this right now. We will take a look at the situation and see it, if it was worth it. Now, how to consider it worth it? How many units did it kill? If you kill one unit, it's not worth it. If you killed 3, 4, 5 units, it's worth it, you did the right thing. But if you only kill 1 unit, that's really bad. If you kill 2 unit, that's not great, depending on the volume. 
You kill three units. All depends on the value. How much value you can get from that typhoon. Now, let's see if his typhoon is good. Right now, my value is 99,400. Uh, Kill my anti air. That's good. Killed one unit so far. He killed two units so far. Three units, but that unit was not, uh, like... That's a battle capture that got killed by an anti-air, so... Even without Typhoon, that infantry would have died. So, so far, let's say he killed two of my units. It wasn't a good Typhoon. Look, if you're not quite sure if you can kill a lot of your opponent unit, don't use your Typhoon yet. Wait, wait, wait. When you see it all in your opening defense, use your Typhoon. Roll on in the turn you use Typhoon. If you don't roll on your opponent, and that's Andy we are talking about, you will waste your Typhoon. That Typhoon was wasted. Now let's keep going. Kill, damage, kill, capture, capture. Infantry, infantry, battle copter. Damage my medium tank. Kill my infantry. Kill my medium tank. So now he is slowly coming back in the race. But look at the unit count. Even if you got more value than me, your unit count is kind of bad. And it's because you base skipped. I was a witness of two base skips. Why not these two base skip? Number would be better. This would be at 15 instead of 13. Now, I don't know if in between the first two and right now if he did other base skip, because I did skip five turns. It's pointless to watch the entire game. The moment you realize they're opening, the value is base. Kill my infantry, damage my infantry, damage my tank, medium tank, infantry. Damage the tank. Kill the tank. Medium tank infantry. Now take a look at the unit count. I still have a better unit count. He has a better volume, but sometimes your volume don't matter if you are blind. Your value is bad if your opponent outnumber you by a lot. Now, 7 unit is not that bad. But if there's a 10 unit gap between the both of us, or the both of you, and you are the one in the minus, well, you are in deep trouble. So, let's keep going. Smash my infantry. This is good. Kill, kill, kill. Kill. Now I will need more anti-air because of course I lost to anti-air. Smash that medium tank. Smash the medium tank again. Smash the tank. Smash the medium tank. I got a very high roll. I killed it. That's funny. Battle copter, anti-air, and infantry. So now we are similar in unit count, so he is catching up and he comes back in the race. He killed one of my units. Kills another of my units. Kills another of my unit. 
kill another of my unit. So right now he is slowly coming back in the race. But that's mainly because I'm lacking the firepower to crush his medium tank. So now the artery shoots the tank. Medium tank recon, this is fine. Kills my infantry. Rocket shoot medium tank. Medium tank kills it. Near tank and infantry. Now we are similar in value and unit count. So now I think at that point, because the game is really closed, it's a good idea to use the Typhoon. So you see, by using Typhoon, you can shoot, shoot and kill. Then you can shoot. Actually, it's a bad Typhoon. No, he, he did the right thing to not use it. When I look back, it's not really good. Now he used it. Okay, very interesting. He used it mid-turn. So he wanted the vision and then he used it. Uh, it's not really bad or good. It's just fine. Now I use my super... Boop, 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 boop. Kill it. So now that rocket paid itself back many times now. There are so many medium things I was able to kill because of that rocket. And we are very similar. Now maybe I resign because the game is taking forever and I don't like stalemate. I think this is what happens. And now I will be ashamed. Because I will still do, uh, do some uh, replay commentary. So I lost to someone at base skip. I suck at this game. I will still do other uh, replay commentary because sometimes I can hold my word. Here I thought the game was in my pocket. Um, his medium tank spam was actually really good. Was lacking the medium tank pa power. And I think that cost me the game. Uh, don't base skip please. Uh, this is a bad example. Uh, the guy won despite doing bad stuff. Maybe I played worse because I lost to someone that base skipped. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. We will see each other in future videos. Have a great day.